Hello YouTube, welcome back to the greenhouse. Today's video I wanted to do a Nepenthes tour for you. So we managed to make it through summer. September has definitely brought some cooler nights. Still nice and warm days. Um, beautiful and sunny out. You can see blue sky up through the roof of the greenhouse there. It was a nice day today. Um, I'm not going to do lowland Nepenthes, I'm just going to do the highlands. We all survived. Um, and even that order that I am um, touch base on in the last um, update has pretty much survived with tidbits of new growth and stuff coming out of it. So I want to show you a few of those plants. Uh, I've moved plants back up to the rafters now. All of these plants that were up here had actually come like way down and were like mid row, under shells, everything like that. I was basing their lighting requirements on just the color of their leaves and depending on if they went yellow or red or stayed green is where they kind of stayed for the summertime but everything is kind of moving up now it's still bright out but it's not nearly as hot as it was so let's just start to sort of get looking here i put a couple trays of nepenthes down and i thought i would start you with that here are a couple of the nepenthes that um i got in that order that i only touched base on the other video um, we have some dead ones in there, as you can see right there. Um, these guys, they they suffered from heat damage, I guess, in shipping in the summertime. And yeah, so they didn't do so well. Those two kept their growth tips, so that's nice. Most of them did not. But you can see like that dead one there. If we look really close, really, really close, you're going to see one teeny tiny speck of green right sort of in the middle there not even in focus there we go so it is starting to come back from the base so that's very positive this was another one this is a this is our gentii cross armin this is a fusca heat damage but it didn't lose the plant more fuscas heat damage but didn't lose the plant this is an nepenthes flava came from a different supplier same time came in great that um is from vestuba there and it's starting to get his pictures on it this is a Ramspina, which I actually think now is a Ramspina cross McFarlanii. If we look at the pictures here, they just they're not Ramspina-ish. They're they're cross, unfortunately. My Raja. This is a four-inch pot and it's clearing the four-inch pot now. So that's kind of cool. I had my door open for um, cooling purposes and it just closed. Um, Tentaculata. A few good pictures on it. Azume, these are seed grown. I did not germinate them, but got them when they were quite tiny. And they're getting pretty big. This has got at least a three inch span on it now, if that's a four inch pot. Same with this one over here. A few of them are taking off. Mikey Eye, definitely starting to get pretty tall. Um, lots and lots of pictures on everything. Don't have any problems with that. One of my favorites, my Edwardsiana, is actually starting to look Edwardsiana ish doing quite nicely the ultra highland chamber just kicked on there and will probably be on for a minute so hopefully that compressor doesn't stay loud for more than a, a few seconds here there is another Edward Sienna and what we'll do is I'm actually going to come back to this tray when the compressor gets a little quieter and we'll finish off on this tray after Here's some of my own personal seed growing stuff. These are nagas. This naga is looking um, big. It's big compared to its brothers. Tobaca. Again, there's a few big ones in there. The pictures are yeah, over a centimeter anyways. These ones just started to germinate. Proformis. Priformis. Um, what are these ones? This is going to be a long tour. Tomlii, growing quite quickly actually. Uh, Flavas, Jambans, Ephipiata. This is my Loei Hurlianas. I just got them, the seeds, they haven't started germinating yet. Um, there's a name, but I can't see it. It looks like um, Romculus. What else do we have? We'll go back over here now. It seems to have quieted down. This is an Attenburyi. Attenburyi. 
Um, a tissue culture. Um, Niagara. Seed grown Raja. Seed grown by me. Another Raja. And another Raja. Paloanensis. Glandulifera. Ephipoites. Moluensis is doing quite well. That Moluensis seems to be doing a little bit better. Um, Ephipi out of there. I don't know if I said it. This was another one of these ones that, um, another couple from that order. That is why they are dead and hurting. But um, this is the hairy Stinophila. And this one came back quite quickly, actually. Lost pretty much all its leaves. But um, the rest are starting to kind of push out new leaves down there, too. And even the dead one, if you look really close, we got some green down there, so that's great. These are Nepenthes alba. They all died at the growth tip. This one is still very dead at the growth tip. This one started growing a side shoot, and then the growth tip actually pushed through anyways, so we have a new growth tip on there. And that one, the growth tip is... Oops, let's zoom back out here. This one, the growth tip is dead. Right there. But, look, it is started growing out the side as well, so... The, the order was far from um, perfect, but look at the leaves on them, they're just destroyed. But at least it's got some new growth coming. Here is the latest picture on my Rob Cantley Cross Hamada. This plant has been doing very well for me. You can see um, that was the first leaf it grew for me and the leaf jumps it's made since then. It's now um, a four inch plant anyways. It's covering the, the four inch pot. And yeah, that's it for those trays. The Ultra, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Ultra Highland Chamber here just kicked off, so we can have a look at some of these. There is my biggest Velosa Kinabalu. Here is a Kinabalu Oats, Kinabaluensis. This is a hybrid, apparently. You can see a big leaf jump in that one. And my Velosa Tembuken. Um, although not as big as that plant there, has got the biggest picture in here. So, and it's growing really fast, so that's nice. Um, but really happy about that little leaf jump there on that guy. And we'll close that back up. That chamber does not get any warmer than 73 degrees and gets down to about 45 at night. Let's look over here. My Miranda is doing good it's um these are old pictures now it's actually the newest pictures are up at the roof that roof is over nine feet tall you can see a couple of bloom spikes back there as well this is the camera as high above my head as I can get and I can't get even close to it um, a nice new picture on the other vine of the Miranda that's coming out in front of the air conditioner another picture up there lots of uppers a few more down here the lowers you know I haven't looked down here for a while there's still some lowers. They had a flush of lowers this spring and then um, kind of went to uppers. This is a glandulifera across Bostiana. It just popped open. This is the previous picture on it. I love this plant. It's um, very vigorous. Um, so the newest picture is bigger and it is sticky. You can see the, the sticky glands from the glandulifera plant. And they are absolutely sticky. That's one I don't know if I mentioned over here. Maybe I did. I got interrupted, so I don't know where we we're at. There's my glandulifera. It's doing pretty good. Good pictures on it. Good size. But anyways, we'll swing back over here. Um, Lamii doing quite well. Um, in a moderately bright spot. When it gets sun, it's bright, but most of the time it's pretty shaded. You can see um, bronze leaves, so I know it's getting enough light. Intermis, Aristolacoides, it's getting there. Slow grower for me, really slow. Although I guess it was teeny, teeny, tiny. 
That is my Mira. Huge leaf jumps on that. Latest pictures down there. This is my Peltada. Again, massive leaf jumps on it. Like, that's a big leaf jump there. Deania, big leaf jumps. This is another new one, Rodensis. Did not come from the same place as the ones that got um, cooked. So it's doing fine. Hamiguayantanensis, no pictures. Again, a new one. Doing great. Dubia, looking um, pretty cool. Just lower pictures on it, but um, lots of them. It always pictures. Uh, Attenbury eyes, big leaf jumps this year. Uh, turned into a couple nice little plants. There are some Maxima seedlings down there, not germinated by me. Sergiensis, um, nice size pictures. Good leaf jump. Platychilla. I think we're about to enter like a vining stage now. It's been a, a, quite a tight rosette down there, but look at the um, the stem and the distance between the leaves now. I think it's about to really take off. Here is my Trusmoniensis. You can see it's starting to get a little bit of teeth on there. Ovata, Flava, Nigra, Nigra, Jamban. I think there's one lowy eye in there. Let's see. I just um, worked on this guy this summer. This is my um, Spectabilis. It's got some nice pictures on it. I made some cuttings. They're starting to grow as well. I just shoved the cuttings in the same pot. Ventrata. Uh, sorry, Ventricosa. Tons of pictures on it as always. And let me bring down this guy here if I can untangle him. So this is my Dorman's Top number two. Questionable as a Papuana. Um, getting some nice pictures on it. It's about a four inch plant now. It's overhanging the pot in all directions. Latest picture. But i um, kind of unsure of the species. Let's see. Added lights to my Heliamphoras today. Because winter is coming. This is my Bongso. Some people are calling it a Naga, but I don't see any tooth up there. Just a really nice bongso, I think. Um, Sanguinea is back here. Nice size pictures on it. It's starting to vine too, but no uppers yet. It kind of goes up, up, up. And the Vin Ventrada, I know I was going to mix those two up. It's got tons of pictures on it. And here is my latest Diania. Nope, Diatza's picture. The lighting is getting horrible. Let's try to turn that off, see if that helps. Nice red pictures. My Hamada Cross Platychilla. This is probably the biggest picture on it. Sorry about the backlighting now. Ugh, it turned horrible. And it has started vining as well. Glabratas, they're doing nicely. Dead picture there, but some good sized pictures on it. And it's growing quite well. It's probably an 18 inch plant. My jambans. Looking nice and toilety. I added this um, clear plastic vinyl that I've been working with lately to the top of the shelf. And it retains a little bit more moisture under the, under the pot. They can drip, but they can't drip as um, much. My intermiss here. Intermediate pictures on it. It's really starting to vine quite nicely. It never keeps its pictures for very long though. So this is the latest picture. And you can see a good uh, half an inch or so between the, the leaves now. So it's climbing pretty quickly. Circelia with some horrible backlighting. Um, uh, tip of my tongue here. Darn. Uh, where is the tag? I have too many things to remember. Lavicola. 
Lavicola there. And I'm just going to grab the stool and give you a bit of a view of those guys up top before we go. Well, let me climb up here. So these guys are all in about the six to seven foot mark. Here is my Jacqueline. We have a red Jacqueline and a green that is a little bit smaller. My Rob Cantley eye, the latest pitcher, looking good. As I say, these all just kind of came back up. Um, that must be my latest Macrophylla pitcher. A couple lowy eyes up here. Got little hairy under lids, but um, nothing too spectacular yet. This one here in horrible, horrible backlighting is my spatulata. And there are a few more up here. Jimophora. I'm going to have to go quickly up here. The lighting is just not good. Let me get back down off this stool here. My McFarlane eye. Nice and white pictures on it. And I think I'm going to leave you with a shot of this guy here, which is my Ventricosa Cross Hamada. This is his first picture. So these were cuttings we made together. I made a video on this. I made three cuttings. I ended up trading one and have two cuttings left. And so this is the first cutting to form a pitcher. And look at the size of the pitcher it formed. A good like four inch pitcher on it. So very nice and toothy. Really happy with it as a hybrid. Oh, and we almost forgot the Hamadas down here. So I'll finish up with this tray here. Hamada Catapasa. Hamada Red Hairy. Other Red Hairy. This one's a little bit bigger. And you can start to see some of the features. It's getting red. It's getting some teeth to it. Here is a Hamada Clone 2. Can't see what clone that is, but it's a clone two, three, or one, I think. Here is another same thing. So I think that's a clone one. There is clone three. And that picture just opened. It's kind of lighter than the rest because it just opened. But yeah, there's my Hamadas as well. They don't like the light that some of the other ones do. So they are one shelf down from the rest. But anyways, that is a long, long Nepenthes update. I hope you liked this video. And if you want to see more updates like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.